Welcome back to the Iranian Viva channel. In today's video, we're looking at 10 different world objects which should be added to the build menu for our camp builds. This video is completely theoretical, with these items currently not featuring in any data mines, but are all present in game. Let's get started. Some world objects already double up as workshop objects, like airplane seats, bungalows and jukeboxes. This video imagines that others could be made available to us, and I'll be suggesting how each might be implemented in the build menu. Up first today, we're looking at defensive structures. Our current options for fences, walls and gates are extremely limited. The base game gives you perimeter wall frames, railings and stairs alongside some guard post options. And these have suffered from a few issues, particularly the snapping for the railings. Junk walls were also introduced to the Atomic Shop and are a popular option for camps in the Wasteland. But travelling around the map you'll see a multitude of different types of barricades, fences and walls that I think would be a perfect addition for camp pools. Starting with the former Brotherhood of Steel outpost in the Cranberry Bog, this style of wall features stacked barricades attached to a base structure similar to the perimeter wall frames we already have. I imagine that single piece wall sections in this style with wall snapping could be a great addition. This design is actually improved at other locations like Foundation, Fort Atlas and Camp Venture, where the design of the walls also features metal plating. Camp Venture also does feature this other wooden wall and tower outlaying structure that can be seen to at Pickett's Fraud. On a much smaller scale, sandbag walls and stacked cement blocks could be some additional options. Overall, more variety for defences that look like they fit in the world is something I'd like to see. The medieval wall and portcullis gate, for example, perhaps aren't the most immersive set to release in the Atomic Shop. And although I've seen some really cool camps using the portcullis gate in particular, it currently doesn't come with any matching wall set. But moving on to number two, the world object or objects I'd love to see are more boxes, barrels, crates, and other containers you can find scattered around Appalachia. Now this was something I touched on in the first video, and there has been a wooden barrel included in the latest data mines, which was nice to see. But why stop there? These classic wooden crates and metal barrels can be found throughout the wasteland, sitting here alongside the metal box, which we can actually build. IBC totes found in raider camps, blue ultrasite barrels which can be found at the Poseidon energy plant, and these plastic barrels would be all great additions, giving us more variety. Something else found everywhere are these much larger crates, a little similar to the multicoloured shipping containers. I think all of these could work well as just floor decor, as many builders use stash boxes in existing containers for decoration over functionality. Coming in at number 3 we have the Assaultron. Let me explain this one. In the first video I talked about the Automation DLC from Fallout 4 and the robot assembly platform we could use to make robots. This idea was very popular but I did admit that this might be unrealistic. Camp pets were a concept that hasn't seen fruition yet and a new robot system might be too much to add. However, Something that has been updated multiple times quite extensively is the Camp Collectron. So, what I'm envisioning with this is essentially a new Collectron station and robot design. We've seen already that Collectron stations can vary. The Fetch Collectron is a robotic dog living in a kennel. And the Red Rocket Collectron has a completely different design as well, with the station also very unique. So with this in mind, a Collectron station that's made to look like these robotic fabricators you find throughout the world in places like Watoga with an Assaultron instead, acting as the Collectron but its speech pattern and design could remain the same. Another option for this could be the iBot stations, like the one found next to the Broadcast Tower, where Forever Vigilant takes place. Similar size to the Fetch Collectron, perhaps the robot could instead be an iBot patrolling our camps. Interested to get people's thoughts on this one though in the comments. Would you like to see classic robots in our camp, or do you prefer new designs like the Fetch and Red Rocket Collectron? For number 4 I've gone for an interesting one. Technically this item is actually a cut item, but it's called the Ash Forge. And they're tall cylindrical fans operated via a terminal. These were once central to the cut quest's old flames, which involved activating them to harvest raw materials from the air. These would have optionally collected iron, black titanium, aluminium, coal, copper, lead, gold, silver, uranium or ultracite. Completing the quest would have unlocked them for your camp, they featured heavily in concept art and in-game promotional material as well, but they, along with the questline, were cut. 
You can still see these of course in the Aship region, but they can't be interacted with. A very unique design, it would be interesting to see these revisited. There's been a recent trend with Atomic Shop items having added functionality to make raw materials. Canned coffee from the coffee machine, adhesive from the tree sap collector and so on. Of course, if these were introduced with all of the original minerals being available, then it might nullify the value of finding resource extractors to build camps near. Still, with some of the legwork already done, perhaps these could be another resource generator for our camps. In at number 5 we have Home Decoration. Not really one item, this was inspired by a really great mod for Fallout 4, OC Decorator. This mod essentially allowed the player to decorate with any and all junk items available in Fallout 4. Instead of having functionality though, these were just static objects to add an extra layer of immersion. Looking around interiors like the overseer's house and antique shop, there are so many single item objects that would fit seamlessly into our builds. Gramophones, small table lamps, variants for the television and much more. It should be noted that again it appears we are getting items like this in future, with free floor decor items coming with Season 12. These are a desk fan, toaster and typewriter that have all been included and I'd love to see this continued. Staying in the overseer's house for the moment, we move on to number 6 which is stacked shelves. Another trend with some releases we've seen is pre-decorated items. We got a stash box skin that was a bookcase, a full spread on the Thanksgiving table, and of course the ally stations all come heavily decorated. All of them though are just single items. And again, looking around the world space you can find more stacked shelves, stacked bookcases, and cluttered workbenches. I would love to see the approach to ally stations applied to new camp items. This could help save budget as opposed to decorating these items yourself. Keeping that theme in mind, a modular kitchen set comes in at number 7. Found throughout pre-war homes, the blue kitchens you find in both Fallout 4 and 76 are instantly recognisable. I did wonder how this might be implemented, but perhaps as two snapping sets, one for the floor and one to be attached to all sections. It would make sense of course for some elements of this to be a crafting option to cook up some food, so perhaps a single piece large kitchen could work better. Interested to get people's thoughts again on this one. Number 8 is new radio or speaker options. There are some different variations of the radio we can find in Appalachia. Ham radios can be found in a lot of military installations, but also this large speaker that was first introduced in Fallout 4's Nuka World DLC. The next thing I'd like to see expanded on is plants, planters and plant boxes. We do currently have the option to plant a select number of crops, but not all. So glowing fungus, cranberries and many others aren't available to us. So initially exploring the possibility of adding more crops and food for us to plant in our camps would be great. But also with this, not just for functionality. In Arctus Farmer and the Maya, many other variants of flora can be seen and perhaps static floor decor items would be a nice addition too. The idea for this stems from the radiation barrels and carnivora plant from the atomic shop, which don't offer up any function but are great for decorating with. Perhaps something like the recent toxic barrel reward from the pits which comes with a base. Finally for today, and this isn't really a world object, but revisiting free cam build modes and the build menu itself. Starting with free cam, the ability to turn off the HUDs whilst in this mode would be game changing for actually filming camps. The unrestricted camera is amazing of course, to access parts of a build that aren't normally easy to get to, but it would do so much for filming the build too, if only we could hide the UI. The free cam mode itself is switchable in the menu, so perhaps something similar to that, maybe a third option. And now, taking a look at the build menu itself, something we would love to see added it is a favourites tab at the beginning of the menu. We do get a new section which is really handy, but builders will often have preferred items to build with, and being able to favourite items would save time looking through each menu. The current workaround would probably be to make those items and then store them for future use, but I do think in the long run a favourites menu would still save time. But with that we've reached the end of the video. What do you think of my list? Is there something in the game world you've seen but you've always had your eye on? Although these suggestions vary in terms of how easy I think they would be to implement, I can't help thinking that just adapting existing world objects would save Bethesda some time and give us more options. 
In particular, the containers seem like such an easy win, even if they were just introduced as floor decor with no function. Or, failing that, added as more stash boxes. But yeah, I'm definitely of the belief that the new items don't necessarily need to have a function for camps, or even with new textures at this point. For something like an Assaultron Collectron, I'd be quite happy to just see the vanilla look used. Do you agree though? Should all new items have new textures and designs? Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed this particular video, then please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. With that said, I am off. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.